We are Linnea and Aquila, and this is where we feel the most free and at home. But a large part of this lifestyle revolves around restocking, refueling, and planning days in the city. And while I prefer to share the calm, beauty, and slow mornings of our life in nature, without a few of these chaotic chore days and everything that a town offers, our life traveling and living in the van wouldn't be quite as possible. And make sure to stick around until the end of this video for the reveal of my very first hand-thrown mugs. I typically only share videos when we're out in beautiful places. And that's because that's what I enjoy filming. That's what's fun to me. It's easier to film when I'm doing something that I really enjoy. But I have to go into town. And I've planned to take care of everything over the course of two days. And I'm bringing you with me to show you all the things that I really, really dislike doing. <laughs> Chris is sick, so he is staying out here away from infecting other people. So it's just me and Akilah going to town. We get to have a little girl's day and night and another day. This might be the reason I hate this so much. I, I really don't like cleaning everything up, packing everything up. Because when I get to a place like this, man, I spread out. <laughs> I basically live outside, as you can tell. There is a life I lead in this city. So about a year ago ish, uh, my front like little 12 volt plug in thing in the van stopped working. I don't know if it's a fuse or maybe the actual plug itself. And just this morning it dawned on me that I remembered seeing a second 12 volt plug in my van when I was building it. And so I came back here, I was like, I swear it was on one of these back panels. And it is. So I have an extra 12 volt here if you have a ProMaster. Yeah, there's a 12 volt plug in the back of it. So I'm going to see if I can plug in my Blue Eddy with this 12 volt and it can charge back here on my way to town. Oh, should we check it? I'm gonna turn on my van. Oh, it's working. Success. The tricky thing about this wood stove in the van is I do a lot of like back road stuff. A lot of the little compartments will jiggle free. Not a lot of them, but basically on the feet. So these little brass, they're nuts. They hold the feet attached to my wood stove, but then also I have bolts that attach the feet to this little platform that I made. And when I'm on dirt, dirt roads, this will just kind of like jiggle and everything goes goes free luckily it doesn't really matter because it's just like in here really well it can't fly out or anything but it's frustrating and i don't want any damage done to the actual wood stove or this platform so typically before i leave i'll just make sure that everything is kind of screwed back together uh so that's like a little fun thing that i need to do this kind of makes me think of a woman had just recently moved into a van and she talked about that she in the first like three weeks she realized how glamorized van life is or like living in your rig to be like brutally honest that has always surprised me i guess if people aren't used to being out and about or if they haven't done much like camping or um travel in general then i guess that makes sense but it's a very different way of living. It's gonna be a lot more work than living in a house. If you're not used to like pooping in weird places and fixing stuff that go wrong, and if you're not excited for like challenges and uh, things to not go as planned, or if you're not looking forward to like figuring shit out for yourself, this lifestyle is gonna be tricky. For sure, but that's the fun of it. Okay, I don't know where that one went. Maybe I put it in here. I did not put it in there. Let me go. I think that should help. <laughs> it's almost time to take this guy out. I haven't really used it. I used it one day this week. But I haven't been using it much because it's so nice out. I have trash. I have my solar stuff figured out. I think I'm ready to go into town. <laughs> There's like a lot of extra noise going on right now. Everything good back there, Akilah? 
I don't think my back door is closed. Oh, Linnea. Akila is so patient. I'm about an hour away from town. This is kind of my sweet spot. Typically that means that there are less people out here. When you find places that are closer to town, that's where people typically want to be. Since this is my least favorite thing to do, heading into the city for chores, I like to really like make a day out of it. Or in this case, I'll be there for two days. By incorporating things that I really love to do or like enjoy doing for my health. One of those things is a chiropractor appointment. So I've actually planned this whole thing around my chiropractor appointment. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I procrastinate every single chore and everything I need to do until one moment of my month or week or whatever and then I just get it all done, make a whole day out of it. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. I just got to the grocery store. I'm gonna get all that done with first. But one of the things I'm really conscious of, like when I'm coming into town and whatnot, is to stick to my routine so that my life doesn't feel totally off kilter. I totally forgot this morning, since I was in a rush, to drink my AG1 and to have some breakfast. And we all know that going into a grocery store while you are hungry is a really bad idea. So I need to take care of those things right now. And I wanna give a huge thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video. One of the things that I love most about AG1 is how simple it is. I am like on the go today, running around town, getting everything done, and just by pausing and taking the time to prioritize just one scoop in water, I'm helping build a foundation for whole body health by delivering nutrients that are needed in my body for my gut health and my immune system and my brain function. My friend Courtney started drinking AG1 every single day. She texted me this morning and said, hold on, I'm finding it. Here, I have it right here. <laughs> Since drinking AG1, I feel like I don't crave sugar as much. And I said, oh, that's really interesting. I think she's been drinking it for three weeks now, daily. So that's what Courtney thinks. AG1 has been a part of my daily routine for a few years now, and I stick to it and I stay true to it because for one, it helps with sustained energy throughout the day. There are times in the afternoon where instead of an afternoon cup of coffee, I will replace it with AG1. Right now, Chris is sick. I am not sick. Does that mean I'm not sick because of AG1? Not necessarily, but I do really care about the things in my life that support my immune system, and AG1 is one of them. I need to go and get groceries, but if you're interested in incorporating AG1 to your own morning routine, make sure to click the link in my description below, and you'll get a free one-year supply of AG vitamin D3K2, and Hold that thought. Five of these individual travel packets for free with your first purchase. People so often ask me, what do you do with Akila when you go run errands, when you have to get groceries, when you have to do laundry? This is what she does. She does this. I think she actually secretly likes it. She gets her own peace and quiet time. Oranges, bread. I got some stuff for Chris so he can, I don't know, hopefully get better quicker. Coffee, snacks for me, that means olives. Meat for the dogs, that goes in the freezer. I am really lucky because in this town, I have some really good friends. So I use their house for trash. Typically I would just do this at a gas station. And water. I was gonna go to the gym, but it's already 1.30. Studio hours close at six. I'm gonna save gym and shower for tomorrow. I hit such a wall so fast when I'm in a city. It's only 1.30 and I could climb back in that bed and just sleep. <laughs> you need to fill my tires and get gas. So part of me thinks I should do that tomorrow too. Or am I just procrastinating? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm choosing that route. Right now is like the heat of the day. 
and I'm gonna bring Akila to the creek so that she can get some exercise. If she wants to go in the water, she can cool off. Uh, and then she'll be very content during studio hours. Yeah, I think that's what I should do. Okay. Back on the road again. All right, to the next spot. I just got done. <laughs> what just happened is the perfect example my lips are so dry now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just met the most amazing woman ever. Her name is Caroline. I'm like so full of joy right now. That was so beautiful. I, I walked up to the start of the trail. I brought my camera, ended up not filming anything. I was walking up the trail and I see this woman putting this cute little dog in a backpack. And so of course I'm like, wow, that is absolutely adorable. <laughs> and we get to chatting. And we almost immediately just fall into really deep conversation. She was like, do you want to walk? And I'm like, yeah, let's walk. And we had just the most beautiful, heartwarming, deep discussion. She had a lot of wisdom to share. She was this beautiful woman that grew up, grew up with many cultures around her. She's traveled a lot and um, she was just so incredible, oh my gosh. We talked about everything from kids to relationships to religion and ideas on life and it was just really incredible. So I wanted to do like a 20 minute walk to go to studio hours, but it's times like that where you just meet people and connect with them and it's like in that moment, nothing else matters. Your plans for the day, they don't matter because you're just like in that moment and cherishing that moment with somebody really special. She looked like she was 40 and she was 61. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is 6.34. Just got done with studio hours at the pottery place. I am exhausted. And this is my dinner. That is uh, olives and feta, and this is a roast that I made yesterday. I made that so that I didn't have to cook today because leftovers are fantastic. I don't even know if the sun is gone. Kayla, do you wanna go outside? Ooh. It is chilly out here. Good girl, you want to load up? <laughs> She's ready for bed, I think. How are you? Hi. Hi. Here's what's happening. Nothing glamorous. I am tired and I don't want to heat that up. So I'm going to be eating this cold roast that I made yesterday. And I'm gonna sit here and watch TikToks while I do it. And that's true. Have respective voice in their environment. Tonight, the incredible discovery, a rare gray whale off the Massachusetts coast. The species believed to be extinct for 200 years in the Atlantic. Marine biology researchers so performing cool. an aerial survey, spotting the rare gray whale just 30 miles south of Nantucket. The large tail out of the water, gray whales can weigh 60,000 pounds, distinguishable by their lack of a dorsal fin. I slept so good last night. I think it's probably around six. 
It's about 6.30 right now. And I slept so good, even though this guy had his generator on all night. What does one possibly need a generator for all night? Oh my goodness, don't even get me started. It's 61 degrees out. I got up around, it was just after 5.30. Snuggled to the Kila. All right, I need coffee. You need breakfast. Man, that generator has gotta go. Gotta go. Jeez Louise. Isn't it nice that when I put this up, it hides all the junk on my countertops right now? I have decided that I will not be putting my foot pump back together. So my foot pump broke over a year ago. It, I didn't take it out the first time that it froze in my van last year. I wonder if it broke the year before. Anyway, but since it broke, I just live out of my water jugs like I normally would. And now I'm like, screw that. I'm not putting in another one. It's so easy just to live out of, you just pour it into things when you need it. Good job. Oh, you're so beautiful. Good girl. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost. In good the girl. Oh, I've good been morning. Told things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you, you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you. Stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. If you're curious, yes, I am wearing the same clothes. If you wear the same clothes every day and you're comfortable, then you have to do less laundry. It just makes sense. For Aquila's breakfast, we have about a half a pound of beef. Yes, this is raw. There were a few comments on the last video about this. If you don't want to feed your dog raw food, then don't. If that freaks you out, I get it. What you can do is just focus on fresh foods. Just like with us, the more fresh foods, the more whole foods we get, uh, the healthier we will be. So if you want to lightly cook their meat or cook it all the way, whatever. Just focus on fresh foods if that freaks you out. This is beef lung. Uh, organ meats are really, really good for dogs. And I, oh, shit, oh my gosh. I totally forgot that I have organ meat to pick up from them. I think that's today. I think that's why I had to go into town. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just remembered that. There's a grass-fed, grass-finished, no hormones, no antibiotics, all that stuff. There's a beef in this area. And I ordered for the dogs 12 pounds of a variety of their organ meats. I totally forgot. And then green mussels. I just do these. Whoa, whoa. All of this stuff, I I just mix it up every day so that there's a variety. They don't get everything every day. I'm just giving her two of these. And then she's also getting some chicken feet for her teeth. And then we're gonna do sardines. Lastly, an egg. And the egg membrane is really good for them, so I peel out this egg membrane as best I can. I have a story highlight over on Instagram where I've linked some of my favorite products. And even if you can't or don't want to go to this extent for your dog, just adding a few like healthy food toppers onto kibble with some water for extra hydration, that can increase their health and their lifespan. Uh, tremendously. So this is her meal for today. Okay. 
first stop today is the post office. I am at the post office writing a check. What's the date? For two months of my land payment. I'm trying to pay off the land as quickly as possible, which, um, you know, that's important to me. And it also means that I probably won't be able to do too much on the property for the next year or so because all of my extra income is going to paying off the land and the well. And I really don't like being in debt, so that is my priority in life right now. And as you have seen, I have picked up a few extra sponsorships, um, only with companies, of course, that I really love. I love the people that I work with in those companies. And that has helped a little bit, but of course I still want to make the videos enjoyable for you guys. And I don't want to have a, a sponsored segment for every video. So I'm just really trying my hardest to strike a good balance with sponsored videos with paying off the property with still planning on doing the things that I can with the you know it's all it's all a balance and sometimes it's tough and I guess that's all part of it too more money gone well I just showed up to the pottery place they don't open till 10. I thought they opened at nine. I honestly never checked the opening hours. That is on me. Maybe I'll go shower. That was the longest, hottest shower that I've had in a long time. That was so good. Studio opens in 10 minutes. This is my first batch of mugs that I'm willing to actually try to put handles on and make look good. <sighs> Took many days of practice to get to this point, but we're learning. So I'm just playing around, figuring out what I like. something. That's cool. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not good, but it's not bad. Hey, that actually looks like a handle. I think I just did a handle. I think I just did a handle. That's not straight. <laughs> okay. You are witnessing my very first handle ever. What do we think? <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Can you just like give your opinion while you're blowing on something? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be late for my chiropractor appointment, but I was able to get handles on a lot of my mugs, and hopefully if everything goes well, I'll have a few extra mugs, and I'll give them away to my patrons um, of my very first batch ever. <laughs> my Cairo was so good. This day has been so good. Well, most of it has just been pottery, that's why. <laughs> I need to go and pick up Aquila and Kobox organ meat. That's what I need to do right now. Okay, where am I going? We'll be right back.
She said that my order might not be ready. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just drove to the complete opposite side of town <laughs> and my order wasn't ready. I didn't know that they messaged you. Oh well, okay. Can I go through here? I don't know. Now what do I have to do? I have to fill up gas. Sweet. Okay. okay, awesome. In 20 minutes, I'll call sushi and order him sushi. What do I have to do right now? Can I please pay, place an order for pickup? Of course. So right now, the second half of the aisle is going to be about 515. Is that okay? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah, that'll be okay. Okay, perfect. We're going to get started for you. Can I please have um, the jade roll? Is the red, uh, the camera here? Perfect. Okay, and then what's your name? Linnea. 15. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh my god, $80, Jesus. Well, I've decided since I spent all that money on our date, date night dinner, is this not going? Oh, no, it is. Um, I'm not going to go to the outdoor store and look for a uh, sleeping bag for Aquila. I'll just let her sh keep sharing mine. Unnecessary spending money. It is like 5.30 and I think chores are over. There were a few more things that I was gonna do, but I think I'm good. <laughs> $63. Holy shit, this is so beautiful. Oh my God. Kila, it's so beautiful outside. Hi, buddy! <laughs> Hi, big boy! I got a sushi for our date! Thank you so much! <laughs> All right, as promised, here is the first batch of completed mugs. You guys have kind of been on this journey with me as I've decided to take on this new hobby and skill. And it has been so incredibly fun. I'm having the best time throwing pottery and learning how to do things and being really creative without a lot of expectations or deadlines. It's it's just a bit different than the, than the editing and the filming that I do. So a little disclaimer, this is my very first batch. So I threw these a few weeks ago and even since then I have gotten so much better and learned a lot. So these have some imperfections, but that's what happens when you learn something new. I have eight mugs here. This is the only one without a handle, but he's got a cool texture. This one I had really high hopes for because the mug itself turned out so beautiful. I had something else envisioned for the glaze. It kind of just looks like somebody dipped it in Dijon mustard, but I, it's still very beautiful. This one is my least favorite, but this is Chris's favorite. So I guess it just depends on your style. My new friend at the pottery studio, her name is Becca. She's like an artist, she does pottery full time. She's been teaching me a lot, but this is her favorite one out of my first batch. <laughs> It's pretty little, so I, I didn't account for the shrinkage that happens when you bisque and fire clay. So um, these were bigger until, you know, yeah, now they're not. But this one's really cute. This one turned out really good. This is like the most uh, mug size with like a big handle. Hey, I'm showing my mug. Nice. Okay. <laughs> This little one is very pretty. I used a speckled clay and it like really shows up in this one. 
This one has a little bit of a like cracked handle at the base and it's it's really on there you know it's not um loose or gonna fall off by any means but i have since i made this one i have learned why it's cracked and how to avoid that in the future so there will be no more handles like this this one is very earthy the speckles are um quite apparent in this as well some really beautiful drips with that brown and this one is my favorite I just, these are like my kind of colors. I absolutely love it. The little like thumbprint on the handle. Oh my gosh, this one turned out so good. I considered keeping this one, but I've decided to give all of them away on Patreon. So the giveaway is on Monday the 25th. There is still time if you are a patron or if you want to be a patron uh, to go and comment to be potentially drawn for this little giveaway. <laughs> I have decided since I am going to be continuing this skill and learning, I really enjoy doing the mugs because that's what I really love, as you already know, as well as learning bowls and plates. But everything that I make, I don't have space for. So as I'm building this skill, because down the road I hope to um, throw all of my own kitchenware, I will be selling and or giving away the things that I create. My thought is once a month I'll take pictures of what I created that month and put it on my website and have like a restock date for those of you who are interested in some hand-thrown pottery. But anyway those are the first few mugs. I'm having the best time and thanks for being here. Akil and I will see you next week. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun